We just after the debate uh, on the health as the driving force uh, of the economy, demography and security. Uh, and just to follow up on the debate, because you didn't get a chance to talk a little bit about uh, the situation of MSD in Poland. So what do you do, what do, you do in our country? Uh, what are your goals? What are your business priorities here? So could you just say a few words about MSD Poland? Because I think that not all our readers and, and viewers know the company very well. Sure. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak a bit about MSD. Um, it's an incredibly exciting time for us. Uh, I've been here now just on four months. And if we really look at the landscape, you know, we've, uh, as MSD, we've invested uh, quite heavily in Poland. Uh, we have a digital management center where we, you know, really look at uh, uh, clinical trials, um, all the data that comes through there. You know, we've got over 600 people and we basically, with that, you know, employ another 11,000 people. And if you look at how we have been investing in Poland is that we currently have 126 clinical trials running. And that means that more than 3,700 patients are currently on trials. And taking into consideration that is you know, the third biggest for MSD in Europe and probably in the top six globally. So it's a really huge focus for us. Taking that into consideration, just last year we invested over 157 million Polish Zwati in the country. And if you take it since 2008, it's over a billion. And if you take our total expenditure over the last time, it's 2.7 billion Zwati that we've invested here. So it, that's why I say it's really a promising economy. We've looked a lot and we're really excited about what's happening now and into the future. Great numbers. Um, I didn't know about that. Uh, so really cool. Um, and my next question is about the investments because we we talked a little bit about challenges. So you know, many I think investors are quite uh, anxious about the war in the Ukraine. So things that are happening next to our eastern border. We have an inflation. You know, we have a complicated law, perhaps. Uh, so can we talk a little bit about these challenges that uh, pharmaceutical companies companies uh, need to face uh, in Europe and in Poland um, do you have in mind like challenge number one that is currently um, you know the, the biggest problem I think um, the biggest challenge that we're currently facing is you know how patients flow through the system and that talks more about the system in general you know we you know we are company that focuses a lot on oncology. I mean, 80% of those clinical trials are in oncology. And I mean, the biggest focus initially is on lung cancer. And there we have only 50% of the patients in Poland are being treated. So we're trying to see really how you know, the patient flows through the system. But on top of that, we know that it's all about expenditure and you know, your percentage of GDP that needs to be spent to make sure that the system is sustainable. You talk about elements like war, yes. I mean, Poland has really opened its heart and its, you know, its, their homes to you know, what's happening in Ukraine. And anything with a war, especially in Ukraine, is a terrible day. So you know, with those elements, we look at that, we take that into consideration. For us as a company, what is most important is obviously predictability, sustainability, and looking at some of the laws that are changing. You know, we're all for re-looking at and reform and all of these elements as long as this increases access to patients. And I think that's some of the elements that we've looked at and touched. You know, if you look at the gap analysis or more specifically the weight analysis where it's talking about how long patients wait to have access to our innovative drugs, there we see a bit of a difference. There we're seeing, you know, 827 days. Is that okay? Is that okay for patients to wait so long, especially in the oncology sector? This is where we really need to show improvement. And we have. In Poland, it has shown, but real focus needs to be given there to make sure that we can really you know, show what Poland can do here. So these are some of the key challenges that we're looking at and uh, we'd really like to focus on. Um, perhaps one of the remedies is the cooperation between the private and public sector. Do you think that it works well in Poland or something has to be improved? Yeah, I think um, that really is the future, is public-private partnerships. And I think Poland has taken such big steps, you know, with the Warsaw Innovation Hub as one of them, which we've signed up to, uh, looking how that can work into the future. Because really, when you start partnering in these type of elements, it brings the best out of both. And we both have data to share, we both have expertise to share, and this provides a platform that you don't often see. And even recently, we've signed an agreement with the National Cancer Institute. And here we can also see how these type of partnerships can really bring us closer together and invest in the future of Poland and its patients. Thank you very much for the conversation. All the best in the future. Thank you very much for the time and I really appreciate this.